Guys, this game just won't fucking end, will it? It's gonna be my life from now on. Streaming this fucking game. Give me a second here. Well, hopefully we actually can finish it today. We're in chapter three of... The final main thingy of the game. And like I said, I'm not doing the director's story. I don't know how long that is. I don't... I don't care. Bloody... Yeah, I, I, I still don't care. They had each other. You are alone. Uh-huh. You know, here's the other thing, as well. Like, context matters. A little bit of grounding in reality matters. Just doing random shit just doesn't really fly for me. I played some wackadoodle fucking horror games, yeah? But context is important. God damn it. Also, you know, gameplay it's also matters as well. Good, another cinematic. Excuse me. There was life before the ship. A reason for their escape. They didn't dare look back. But their past fueled them for years. They harnessed it without remembering. They transformed fear, anger, and despair into art. The art was called outstanding, haunting, unforgettable. Uh huh. But they did forget. They did their best to forget. And when they weren't looking. <sighs> Their past entangled them, bound them. Their roots suffocated them, pulled them under, away from the air and the light. They had to cut them away. Only then could they be truly free. Uh-huh. And now we go through the door and it's leading somewhere. Oh my god, it's locked this time. Oh, you want me to drop in here. Okay, I guess. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Oh my god. It's not like super old timey. Like, I get that these stories, or at least I'm assuming these stories, are supposed to take place in the protagonist's mind, right? The thing is, i played plenty of games that do that. And there's at least a little bit of context. At least some initial, like, grounding in reality before things start to get wackadoodle. Right? This shit is just... Just never ending. It's exhausting. And boring. Yeah, I don't care. Come, faithful servant. For tonight we brew a ghoulish concoction. Uh-huh. strangest stew. I doubt it. Oh good, I can touch the stew. And we're using the childlike stuff from the daughter's story, I guess. Oh my god, there's color now. The brain. Shut up.
Yeah, hey, how's it going? <clears throat> and for those watching later, the review embargo for the Silent Hill 2 remake has dropped, right? And it's getting... I suppose decent reviews, you know, it's got like an 87 on Metacritic last I checked. And I'm sure there's gonna be some people who wanna rub it in in the people's faces who, who were hating on the game when it was announced and hating on it all this time. But the, the only important thing is one's own perception of the Silent Hill 2 remake. Uh, not to mention, there's plenty of instances where critics adore something. And, uh, the average... The average gamer does not. Right? Sometimes they align. A lot of times they align. And again, I, I do sincerely, genuinely hope that I enjoy the Silent Hill 2 remake. I hope that at the end of the day, it's a decent game. I don't expect it to be better than the original. Uh, I think that's physical impossibility. I will probably think of it unfavorably compared to the original. But it is what it is. So long as it's an adequate gain. That said, all these reports about the game being like 15 to 20 hours long really upsets me. Cool, it's like Wizard of Oz. Because to me that just sounds like the pacing of the story is all fucked. And uh, that there's going to be padding up the ass. Movie's almost over. Time to go. Who knows? Maybe... Maybe some of the content that they add is decent. But I still sincerely doubt it. If there's any forced walks, I'm gonna be mad. If there's any fucking yellow paint, I'm gonna be mad. If there's any hint dialogue where, like, James is talking to himself, or Maria is, like, barking puzzle solutions at me, I'm gonna be mad. If characters refuse to shut up in gameplay, I'm gonna be mad. Shut we'll up. Is that not the light? Or that not the bedroom? I guess that's not the bedroom either. Then why was the arrow pointing the whatever? It is nice to be able to, 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 to stream a bit earlier. This last few nights have been kind of streaming uh, later on in the evening. But the hope is I can finish this in about a couple hours and take a break and then maybe come back with some Until Dawn remake if, if I'm able to get a copy in time. We'll see. you to hide it I told you to keep it safe. shut up how could you let him take it it's all we have left of her I don't know who she is or who you, you are you or what it, it is Wait, come on now Otherwise, I might be back with something else. I don't know what. I gotta double check everything. 
Also, a uh, friend of the channel, Aaron Thomas, my buddy Matt, uh, sent me PSN funds because he's a big fan of this, Indica. And he really wants me to stream it, so... Despite everything that's in progress... I will be, uh... Adding that to the shit we stream. Little scum. You were always bad luck. A blight upon this family. Oh no. Yeah, I'm a blight. Everything. Shut up. There's alleged layers. Oh cool, the dialogue's repeating. A blight upon this family. Shut up. I give everything, and what do I get in return? Uh, I don't care. A little gratitude, a little heart. Is that too much to ask? Yes. A lucky break, an ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. Okay. So where's the ace? Where's the card? Lee, you have a you have a puppet master video to watch. I appreciate that you're here though. Jay made a uh, uh, a thing that I think you'll appreciate in prep for this movie, or the 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 thingy thing. Okay, so where the fuck is the ace? You sh- Fuck, you know what, fuck it. I, I, I'm looking at the guide. Uh, chapter three. A house of cards. What house of cards? Where's a house of cards? What are you talking about? Oh, so this guy says mannequin. I'm wonder. Oh, that that's the mannequin. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah. Hey. All right. I told you to hide Shut it. up! I told you to keep it safe. God damn it! Stop replaying fucking dialogue. Could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. <laughs> Shut up! A blackened heart, uprooted by tragedy, uh -huh. skewered by pain. I told you to hide it. Oh my God! I told you to keep it safe. How could you let him keep her close to your heart? Don't let her be forgotten. She gave Jesus Christ. Tony Todd is in this particular game, uh, Lee, and it upsets me. Useless, no good to anyone. It's like I was Oh, God, shut up. Cal, how's it going? If I was never there. Uh huh. Oh my god, the mirror broke. Oh my god, the mirror broke. Oh my god, Cal. Candyman does need a payday, but he, he needs better work. Not to be in this fucking dreck. This pretentious dreck. Shut up! Let's go. Father will be leaving the projection room soon. Shut up! I hope these kids are dead. I hope the end reveal is that these children are dead. 
And like they were hit by a bus or something. Or eaten to death by rats. Or bees. Or a hybrid bee rat. Rat bee. Lee, you love bee rats. And Cal loves rat bees. Why the fuck is the air- whatever. Show your yeah, shut up. Stop talking to me. You're drawing fucking arrows on the goddamn fucking goddamn... Why is there double arrow? Also, wait a minute. You... This is the same fucking house from Layers of Fear 1. You lazy fucking hacks. Oh my fucking god. When the world becomes too cruel... Shut up. For a place to hide. When the world becomes cruel, too cruel, yeah. fucking Konami allows Bloober to make fucking Silent Hill remake. It can be refuge. Gonna go in the... God damn it, shut up, kid. Is whatever you make it. I hope you're eaten by a shark. The dark can be a silent place. A silent I, you know, I this was a silent place. I wouldn't have to listen to your fucking pretentious bullshit. Oh my god. It is whatever you make it. The dark can be a lonely place. Shut up. Oh god, I was so scared. Lee, did you get scared there? It's okay if you did. Solitude. You could pee a little. Oh my god. I gotta bump up when I do Detention and Devotion. Because Devotion is also a walking sim horror game, but it's also one of the best goddamn horror games of the last decade. It is whatever sometimes. Oh cool, the dialogue got cut off. To let the dark in. Uh-huh. Father's coming. No, please. I said, get in. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, all right. You know what? You know what? Instead of, like, a payday, like, like money, they should just give Candyman the, uh, the payday, uh, candy bar. There you go. This land. This land. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Cal, are you scared? Cal, don't be scared. It's okay. Hush. It's already started. Shut up! The only one fucking talking is you, you fucking cow. No, don't talk oh, during the movie. He'll get mad if we're not back before him. God damn it. Give me a shovel so I can bludgeon this child to death. <laughs> what is this?
Uh, where were we going? I don't know. Nobody tells me nothing. Now I'm right about their past. Oh. Hold on, give me a second. Because this is better than fucking this piece of shit game. Kirsty, how doth my Kirsty do? Doth my Kirsty do well? Kirsty doth do well do? Uh, what the fuck is it? Yeah, there we go. No. Uh. I'm securing a copy of Until Dawn Remake. This is why you come in. Hails of Symphonia Casino. Cursed, you love casinos. That's why they call you Casino Cursed. Oh. I'm so scared. Go on, pick it up. Shut up. <laughs> it seems the tables have turned, Quartermaster. Curse you and your mutinous puppets. Oh my god. I will not make this easy for you. If I am to meet my doom today, it will be by your hands. By your action. Yes. Too late to build your character, boy. You wanted to be like me? Shoot. Good. What are we to you? Mere playthings? Play your part. Way. You thought you could be me? Shut up. You will always be just a scared little boy. <sighs> no, no one calls you a big loser. At least you don't play direct like Layers of Fear. Lily, are you alright? I hope Lily's dead. Lily, Lily! I, I hope she's dead. You were gone. That's because I was. Well, she is. Oh, shut the fuck up. What? Who I was a moment ago is no more. No, oh, fuck off. Now, I can become someone else. Anxious ass piece of shit. How the fuck do I get out of here? But what about Tales of Curstonia? Rochi, how's it going, dude? Watch. This is the best part. I don't fucking care. Come. We can't stay any longer. Didn't you want me to just fucking watch? Make up your fucking mind, you fucking cow. James, why are you calling the little kid a cow, dude? Because she's fucking annoying. And I hope she's hit by a bus. I know. Oh, shut up! Why do I touch stuff?
Hey, remember when there was like context for what you did in a video game? Pathologic seems way too hard. Pathologic genuinely intimidates me, Cursed. That sounds pretty fucky wucky, uh, uh, Rochi. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, good. We have another slide. Can we get on with it, please? Can we get on with it? Oh, good. Are we building a stupid rocket ship? I think we are. Oh, good. We built a rocket ship. These these spheres are so weird. What I'm talking about? Don't you, Jack? This game is on a fucking end. How's it going, Jack? Oh my God! Can you fucking? Alright, hold on. No, that seems like a different puzzle. Oh good, there's another fucking chase sequence apparently. Just what I want to fucking hear. Uh, bro, I wish I was building a rocket to fucking leave this game. We are allegedly in the, the, the last cool. chunk of the game, Jack. So hypothetically, hypothetically, this stream I should beat it. But, you know, we'll fucking see. I don't care. I just want this nightmare to end. Oh, good. We have to plug it in. I love plugging things in. Get in there. Fucking blow up the house. Kill the child. Yeah, probably cursed. I wouldn't be exp uh, wouldn't be surprised. What the fuck? What? Silence. What do you mean steer? No, I'm gonna hit everything. Fuck you. Like a warm shadow. Always there, but never really present. Oh my god. Sometimes, when darkness fell across town. Shut up. He'd sneak out of the house. He'd look up into the night sky. I hope you were devoured by vampire bats. Really seen them. What he really saw was. Oh, yeah, no, we can't. Oh, good. Pretentious quotes. My brother. Oh, my God. He was always there. He was always there, following my footsteps. Hey Jack, remember when this channel played video games? Always there, but never really present. Sometimes, when darkness fell across town, he'd sneak out of the house. He'd look up into the night sky, watching the stars. But never really seeing them. Uh huh. What he really saw was a thousand souls on fire. Uh huh. His eyes would light up. The stars were already there. That was when he decided he wanted to murder I children. He had it in him to make a thousand hearts bleed. So he went down to the maternity ward and lit a bunch of babies on fire. Oh, well, that's good. The silent dreamer. Dreaming that a day would come when we could leave it all behind. Oh my god, this fucking the end. A lifetime. A light on the horizon. A flame to call his own. Yes, he had it in him. To make a thousand souls burn. Make them feel alive. Oh my god. Forever. A thousand. Oh. But never mind. 
Never mind. Go. I hope I'm you die alone in poverty. Dreaming and then kill you again. Jack, that sums up my, my thoughts. Oh my god, hey, th hey, that image is something. Something vicious. Something. Wicked this way comes? Was it bees? Sorry, I just had to take a, a swig of whiskey in order to get through this shit. Oh no. What were the Black Wanderer do? Right? One day we'll get to see how it ends. Don't care. Oh, nice. I'm dead inside. Yes, I I too am very dead inside. I am, I am very dead inside. You know, Jack, before I started Layers of Fear 2023, uh, I figured, you know what would be neat? Because <laughs> so far the wheel for this month is like populated by like semi replays to get like true endings and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I could, I, I'll, I'll throw on, uh, layers, of, like the original version of Layers of Fear on the wheel. So I can compare and contrast them, you know, play, play the original after playing the remake. And after playing this remake, I've taken the original off the wheel because I've decided I never want to play anything Layers of Fear related ever again. Yes, that, that is one thing I will give the original, as much as I don't want to play it, is it has the stupid baby that runs into a goddamn wall. Uh, what? Oh, so we gotta turn off a fan, turn on water, but only one faucet, and turn the radio. Turn off the radio. Okay. Turn off the fan. Sure. Oh. Yeah, I don't care. Oh good, the flower pot is turned into... So, I don't care. It, it really is. I mean, this whole game is just padding and filler and dumb shit. Oh no. Oh, and there's no context for anything. That's, that's, that's the big thing. Is there's no real context or grounding in, or, or, you know, semblance of reality or anything. It's just a series of nonsense that keeps happening. And it's just really aggravating and, and stupid and dumb. Oh my god. Do I have to fucking... Well, the guide didn't mention anything about this.
whatever, I'm getting out of here, hopefully. Uh, getting flicked in the dick repeatedly? Getting kicked in the genitals? Having your face rubbed up against a cheese grater? Uh, oh good, we have an eye. Uh, r ripping off your dick and throwing it in river of fire? <clears throat> no, it's not quite that. This is even, this is, this is even more convoluted and stupid than the, si than the Silent Hill Ascension. Like, the, the, the best equivalent to, like, Silent Hill Ascension in gameplay form would be, like, the, um... Dark Pictures and Until Dawn. Oh no. But, you know, without a battle pass. Oh god. Um... This is just... Amnesia without the game... This is Amnesia Machine for Pigs. But with even less gameplay and even more pretentious writing. Am I not... okay. Like, it's not even Amnesia 1. It's Amnesia Machine for Pigs, and I don't like Machine for Pigs. Machine for Pig- oh. Machine for Pigs is dog ass. Absolute... Mick fucking dog ass. Uh, Rebirth is pretty terrible too. Uh, from the I, I couldn't even finish Rebirth. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Jack. It just pretentious bullshit is is the only guess I I really have. <clears throat> Oh no. Anyway. Okay, there's a bunch of fucking cannons. I guess a giant skeleton. Because again, there's no, there's no context for any of this. As far as I can tell, the Layers of Fear games, the stories take place within the minds of the protagonist. But it's like, I've also played plenty of fucking games that take place within the mind of the protagonist. And th there's a little more fucking coherence and context than, than, than this, this dog-ass shit. Am I actually backtracking or is this an actual forward thing? I don't know. Yeah, okay, this is a forward thing. This is a bit, this is another... Layers of fear bamboozle where you have to back like they 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 you go into a room and uh, then they're like lol the room behind you's changed <coughs> Presumably pre I mean somebody would have had to like like play test it in terms of like finding bugs and stuff like that in terms of if it's fun or not you know I don't think they care Bloober kind of has a, a long history of uh, shovelware garbage. Oh, cool. I couldn't get inside at time. Well, we're a silent protagonist, Jackington. Except for when we hear our voice from, like, a flashback or audio file or what I don't fucking know man I just work here dude I guess right now in this chunk of the game <clears throat> we're some actor who I guess had some trauma happen to them as a child and we're like reliving our trauma in our Father. 
mind or something. I don't fucking care. Again, there's no... There's no context. There's no grounding in reality. There's... It just is horror, 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 horror. It's... You're just like him. This is the evil within of Walking Sims. What the fuck is Robert Johnny doing here? Rubber Johnny doing here? Hurts. It hurts. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. Come on, there's nothing left for us here. What the f what the fuck is this shit? Hurts. Hold on. It hurts. Rubber Johnny. It's fucking Rubber Johnny. I mean, yes, if they let anything breathe, it, the, the, the game, the narrative could be more effective. Shut up! It hurts every ten fucking seconds! Jesus! Is it over? No, we have two more chapters, you little shit. Uh, oh god, we got so I think we're at the end of the chapter, uh, this chapter, yay! Oh, lighthouse, god damn it! Stop this wraparound dog shit! Oh my guys! I don't care. I, I'm not doing that, ever. No, we still have two more oh, chapters. So Shut up. We still have two more chapters, excluding whatever writer bullshit we have to deal with. Why Why did we warp to the top of the lighthouse? Oh my god, they're warping us all over. Oh my god. I'm so fucking scared. Can we just get on with it? Oh my god, there's a shadow there, and now it's not there. Oh my god, I'm so fucking scared. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, this is definitely up there in one of the- one of the games I hate the most that I've streamed. Oh my god, the phone's gone! Oh no! Yeah, I don't care. Oh my god, the phone is here now. Hi, Mama. What? How? It's been a while, so just wanted to check on you. I. I'm glad you're writing again. You are? Of course. I know you. It's always been the most important thing in your life. That's... Oh, shit. I'll probably leave you to it. It's been great hearing from you. Wait, don't... Bye. The voice acting is so Go. bad, too. And not the fun bad. I, I would have a lot more fun if it was fun bad voice acting, but we never really get fun bad voice acting anymore. 
Which is a shame. I want... You know, it's more interesting than Larry's of Fear. Let me get there. Uh... Jack, this is what I mean by fun bad voice acting. I don't know. You might have heard this stuff on my channel before. Uh, but... Index. Yeah, here we go. Before you die, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Just to make it so you really don't want to die. That. I want more of that in modern gaming. And also this. Uh, where is it? Sarah! Be careful. The dolphins. Please save them. Come on, Saren. Let's go back to land together. When you get back... What? Would you have an ice cream with me? Of course. I want more fun bad voice acting. Not this bland, boring bullshit that constitutes her bad voice acting in current year. you think your art would make you... Shut up! Oh my god, the man... Oh, there's a bag at the door. Oh my god, now the lighthouse has a ballroom. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh my god. Shut up. You think yourself an artist? They had fun breaking his bones. Shut they up! Watching him spit blood. They were proud of themselves. Oh no! Is this is who who finds this scary? Oh no! Jack, are you scared? I'm so scared. Oh my god. No voice, no characters, no talent. Is that is that is that Bluebird team just giving themselves a self burn? No voice, no characters, no talent? Are they are they talking about themselves here, Jack? Oh no. Oh. Your words are empty. I mean, yeah, this is a visually impressive game, and from a technical angle, being able to like hop between different environment styles this rapidly is impressive. But it's all in service of this fucking bland and boring and not scary and stupid and pretentious narrative. You gave your word. You will keep it. Shut up! Oh no, it's the rat lady. Wee, baby. Finish it. Wee. Oh my god. I mean, probably. They think they're David Lynch. Last exhibit. David Lynch does weird shit. All but like, you can tell there's a method to the madness. Even if you don't like David Lynch, or like David Lynch's stuff, I want to say you can at least tell that there's like a method to the madness. There's there's something behind that he's trying to say or convey or whatever. This is this is basically Neil Brain, but not funny. I have to finish it. Yum, 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 yum. Get before breath. I'm gonna do a beer B. Cause this game makes me upset. Chad, I already wanna just go back to bed. I just wanna go to sleep. This game is so fucking miserable. <laughs> Yeah, 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 hurry up. Let your heart bleed.
Jack, are you gonna let your heart bleed? They could scream themselves free. Oh, good. One glorious act. Oh, no, not a glorious act. And then, yum, 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 I genuinely want to know. Uh, how many... F it doesn't look like there's too much puzzle stuff. Hopefully chapter 4 is short. Hopefully chapter 5 is short. Hopefully the final writer's stuff is short. I just want the game to stop. I'm pretty sure... You no, know, no, I'm confident. that Like, the minute this is done, I'm just gonna do the whole, uh... Uh, uninstall on stream thing. <clears throat> hey, man, I don't know, man. I want to know. I'm genuinely... Again, if somebody does find this entertaining and or scary, I'm happy for you. I'm genuinely curious as to why. But I just, I just don't understand. Okay, so sometimes there's a door and sometimes there isn't a door. Okay. I mean that too. You know, I was uh, at the start of the year. There was kind of a bit of a toss-up for me between which I hated more: uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or Silent Hill: The Short Message. And I'm still—it's still a toss-up, but I'm pretty sure Layers of Fear. I'm going to wind up hating more than both of those. Although rebirth is longer, so technically that makes it a little more insufferable. And it's also bastardizing Both have no future an older game. Shut up! Oh no, look at the spooky kid. For her. Shut up. Where she was for you. And Silent Hill the short message is also just fucking insufferable. It's bizarre that the, the, the Silent Hill game actually made by Konami feels more like a fucking blooper team game. It's baffling. You know, I, I've said many times before that I think that Naughty Dog and The Last of Us are some of the worst things to happen to video games. This is not a commentary on, like, the quality of Naughty Dog games or The Last of Us itself. It's because of the fact that so many things have tried to emulate Naughty Dog games and the, and, and the Last of Us and they always do it terribly right to another. I'm gonna go on the record and say that PT is also one of the worst things to happen to video games because of the amount of fucking PT ripoffs that are terrible Sean this is pretty cool It's been a long time since I've watched a lot of wrestling stuff, but I remember liking Shawn Michaels as a wrestler. I 
I didn't watch wrestling all that much. I kind of watched it during the Attitude Era, and like for me, my favorite wrestler frog was uh, was Stone Cold. What do they seek? What do you and uh, second was probably Mankind. Why? There is only Sounds good. I hope you have a good day at work, Forg. Bye bye. Again, no, no, no shade to PT, no shade to The Last of Us, even if Last of Us is not, Last of Us and Last of Us 2 are not my cup of tea. Oh, that was the monster. Oh, okay, cool. Stone Cold Steve Frog. Um. And no shade to PT, I love PT. PT is a playable teaser frog. Uh, that was a that was going to be a Silent Hill game. It was like a, a, a teaser slash demo for a new Silent Hill game in 2014. It was uh, directed by Hideo Kojima and had involvement of Guillermo del Toro and Junji Ito. And Norman Reedus was going to be the lead, uh, the lead character. Uh, however, uh, Konami uh, canceled it in their uh, instance of going absolutely batshit bonkers uh, and they fired Kojima. So PT basically died. It's a short little little experimental horror game that was teasing uh, a future Silent Hill game. Uh, and it's like a neat little tiny little experimental thing that everyone and their cat has decided to fucking rip off. Ever since uh, PT has come out, don't do it. PT could have like the the full version of Silent Hills could have been something special. Uh, as as a lapsed Hideo Kojima fan and as someone who does not particularly care for Death Stranding, uh, PT could have been or Silent Hills could have been special. It could have been neat. Not to mention, you know, the involvement of Del Toro and Junji Ito in the, um, the creative process. Got me excited. Especially, especially Junji Ito. But everyone in their cat is like copying the surface level shit from PT and, 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 and padding it out and expanding it without really understanding what made PT special and why it worked. And also not understanding that PT was not representative of the final game, as they've, as they've said many, many times, and that uh, that style of game doesn't really work in a longer experience. PT also had like breathing, you know, like uh, it, it let the let the horror breathe, you know, like the like there was some subtlety. It wasn't just constant. Shit exploding spooks over and over again. There's like symbolism and layers, and people are still debating about what the fuck the actual uh, teaser was trying to say. Cheer up. You're all right. You're not hurt. I'm not upset. Fuck you, this is all. Nothing really happened. Uh, thank you for the fuck you, Desiwa. I gotta download that SFX. So I can add that to my, my collection of shit that I need to do. I have a, I have a long gestating project that I need to finish ASAP. Oh no. One of these days I should play the medium, which I also hear is terrible, which is also by Bloober Team. 
so I can actually have a formulative opinion about that. And maybe one day finish <laughs> Blair Witch. <laughs> Unless I'm alive, I'll be back. I played- I, I did play a bit of Blair Witch. I streamed it. It's one of the earlier- earliest games I streamed on the channel, and I fucking hated it. That was my first Blooper Team experience. One of these days I should go back to it and, and like, punish myself. And hate myself, and actually, like... Destroy it, like, you know, play it. Why didn't you protect me? Why did you let this monster- Out. Uh huh. I hate you. Uh huh. I don't care. Uh, but I've never played the medium, and I heard it was terrible. I know Niku hated it. I think Cat also really hated it too. I think. You fucking six-piece chicken McNobody, stay on the fucking line. Uh, thank you for the six-piece chicken McNobody. What the fuck is that? Chad, are you scared? I'm so fucking scared right now. What is happening? Bad things. I am still here. Here, thank you for the resub. Booba. You know, I wish there was some booba. The scars will fade. What do you want me to do? You keep forcing me to look at it. You just want me to backtrack? Through all these stupid mannequins? Is that it? No, yeah, maybe. Ashiwa, how's it going, dude? The flame will burn it all away. I can't go that. Uh, not too good because I'm playing this dog shit game. Uh, but you know, it could be worse. <laughs> Look. Uh, yeah, so like for full context, this is probably one of the worst things I have ever streamed on this channel, and it's one of the worst games I've played in recent memory, and I'm genuinely seething with rage and hatred right lying. about now. Oh my god. I'm so scared. I'm so fucking scared! Chad, this is the scariest fucking game ever made! Oh, I can't fucking interact with this. Sure, whatever, I don't care. A lot of the janky horror games that I've played, Ashy, are janky, but they have, like, like, charm. It does not unlock in 90 minutes, no. Silent Hill- Silent Hill does not unlock in 90 minutes. The remake does not unlock in 90 minutes. The remake, as it turns out, unlocks tomorrow night at 9pm. So I'll be starting my stream tomorrow night at like, 11.30, 11.45 after Goonflix. And it's a remake, dear, not a remaster. What the fuck do you want me to do? Because one of the key differences, Ashy, is most of the janky horror games that I play, uh, you know, they're janky, but, you know, whatever. Whereas, um... 
This is just fucking pretentious as shit. Downloading weed.exe. And uh, it's uh, 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 not fun. And nothing happens. And it's boring. Why did you let this monster? Oh, shut up! Why did you let the monster? Yeah. You're I, hate you. I mean, Blurp is more entertaining than than this piece of shit. It's eating Jack's soul, and he's not even playing it. Oh my god, we got sucked into a tiny door. Yes, Ashy. Uh, because this is the Digital Deluxe Edition. The Digital Deluxe Edition of Silent Hill 2. You get 48 hours early access. It's technically coming out at Sunday. Right? Uh, but for me, because, you know, the, the, the United States is three different time zones. Uh, what is Sunday at midnight for the East Coast, which is when they, uh, generally release, uh, video games, is 9 p.m. for moi. So I'll be starting at, like, three hours, close to three hours after, uh, uh, uh. Butterfly in Renzi's ass. Thank you for the butterfly in Renzi's ass. Three hours after it unlocks because I'm doing goon flakes. Maybe I could sleep throughout a good chunk of Saturday. So I can stay up late and try to go as far as I can in the game. Uh, in one sitting. We'll see. And yeah, it's, it's doing the stupid early access dog shit. As, uh, as is the norm. Play the game a little bit earlier than everyone else if you buy the higher tier version. You know, years and years and years ago, I, 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 I said that that should maybe be a thing, but it wasn't necessarily for a higher tier version. It was like, just, you buy the base version digitally. Because I always thought it was really stupid that uh, a physical copy of the game costs the same as a digital copy of the game. I'm back considering the that the... Again. Oh uh, thank you for the building. Uh, considering the fact that physical copies of a game usually come with more shit. We you know? No! Shut the fuck you, you fucking insufferable cow! Oh my god, what do you want me to touch? Oh my god. No, you won't. Can we get on with it? Can we fucking get on with it? I will be forever. No, you won't. I will be. No, you won't. I will. God damn it. Shut up. <laughs> Who's tits? Jeff's tits? Forever the wound. Forever you. Get it, Jeff! Sarah Leonine, why would you send your viewers to this dog shit game? <laughs> Sarah, thank you for the raid, my guy. Oh, hey, I won something. Holy shit. I want I oh my god. Uh let me let me throw this in the Discord announcements.
Uh, that's surprising. Seru, again, thank you for the raid, my guy. Yeah, thank you for the system of a down uh, fart chop suey. Uh, let me, I, 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 let me do the clip that I did. Uh, yeah, because there was a Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster uh, competition that uh, Capcom creators are doing for like this uh, uh, art or poster or something like that. Uh, and it was like share your funniest moment in Dead Rising. Uh, and this is my moment. Uh, oh, fuck it, because it's more interesting than Layers of Fear. Uh, just gonna throw it actually on screen. No, 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 I, I forgot, I was gonna submit that because we were allowed to do multiple submissions, but I forgot to. Uh, no, my submission was, uh, was this. This playthrough's a mulligan. No. Wait, excuse me? Capcom, please. Did you, did, chat, did you see that? His head didn't explode. His head just fell off. Like it was a mask. Capcom. Capcom, please. Oh, I gotta get a, I gotta get a screenshot of this. No! Oh! Trying to look at a silly bug! Shit. You piece of shit! Yeah, so I guess that got me a poster. So cool. Well, that's a way to brighten my mood after playing this piece of shit game for... Wait a minute, what was my percentage? I wasn't paying attention because I'm drunk. God. It comes for you. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Shut up. Uh, I won a poster. Hold on, let me see. Let me let me see if I can get a picture of it. It's one of two. Uh, like here we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, open in browser. Uh, I won. Uh, I I I don't know like which one I'm getting, but I won one of these. God damn it. Do not go into that reckless Shut up. It was not meant for you. You will not let you be. Tony Todd, you deserve so much better. Your soul peels away. Uh-huh. Yeah, I my soul does peel away the longer I play this fucking game. You cannot have it. Have what? Also, did we get a shout? I, I don't know if the bot did. I'm gonna give Sarah an additional shout out. Left for Dead Two. How is Left for Dead Two, Sarah? Lily. I don't care. Shut up. I hope Lily was hit by a bus and then eaten by a shark and then stung to death by bees. The weight of. I hate. I hate. I hate. I'm so filled with hate. <laughs> <laughs> That's also why Toad Boat Toad, Toad is humping a boat. 
chat. Oh, good, it's a stupid rat lady. And also why the MST3K overlay is on screen. Because I'm just like... I hate this game. <laughs> Going through the air duct and we're gonna get buried. Took me a second there. Was the great news involved Big Booba? Oh my god. What? Wait, what the fuck? This is just seven. This entire... This is just seven. I was drowning in a sea of thirst. I was feasting, but never full. This is this is literally just the gluttony death in seven. My teeth are Shut up. To bear. This is this is this is This is just this is this is literally just seven. Do are we supposed to just leave and go and okay. I'm assuming we are. Maybe we came from there? I don't remember. No, that door's locked. So there must be something in there. Like, why is there just... Does Layers of Fear have any fucking identity of its own? Or is it just just genuinely content with ripping off stuff from other other pieces of media? Can't interact with that. There's nothing to interact with here. That door's locked off. I don't see no no stinking key. I don't even remember if I came from here. I presumably. Uh, no, oh no, this is. She's been gone. I don't want Tencent owning more shit, but also at the same time, Ubisoft is a dog shit company. Are we going to get a recreation of every single fucking death scene from Seven? Is that what this fucking shit is? For fuck's sake. Head in hand, huh? Oh my god. Stripped of all my riches, I sailed the sea of nothingness. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Stop ripping off fucking movies. 
I will repay. Here is my pound of flesh. Shut the fuck up. I'm actually more angry than I was five minutes ago. It's going to be the less death from seven, isn't it? Seven. I come from a sea of displeasure. Next is going to be pride. Longed for affection. No, that's sloth. I live this is sloth. Lust is next, and then pride. Is there a fucking original goddamn bone in this studio? No, this is... Okay, this is Sloth. That was Lust. We just happened to discover this first. Yeah, this is... What the fuck? Okay, this is Sloth. Dude, what... What does this have to do with fucking layers of fear? What the fuck does this have to do with whatever the fuck the narrative is? I'm actually legitimately furious right now. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Pride. Yeah. Pride. Wallowing in a sea of shame. Hypothetically, envy and wrath would be next. Yeah, it's the fucking from fucking seven. Oh yeah, I threw the, I threw Toad in there because fuck this game. It's a piece of shit, and I and, and usually when I get increasingly annoyed and or angry at the, at a game, uh, I start adding stupid shit to o the overlay. Uh, hence also why the MST3K peeps are sitting there mocking the game. Like, this is absolute fucking dog shit, my guys. Holy fucking shit. I I am I am genuinely livid. I'm sure somebody out there who's a fan of this is like, oh, but it's a sure I'm sure that's what the devs would try to fucking say. It's like, but this is just a straight up fucking copy pasting. What does this add to the narrative of layers of fear? You're just stealing goddamn imagery from all the pieces of fucking media for your own game what does that have to do with the fucking narrative that's happening in this us, game Captain. we will follow you across the seven seas
Are we gonna get are we gonna get wrath and and fucking envy? Or no? It's cuz I'm getting angry angry Rochi <laughs> And my my mic is probably like hey you're being too loud we gotta cut the we gotta cut this shit down. We've lost another soul. What the fuck is this shit? So I guess I guess I guess we're fucking not getting fucking wrath and and envy. So at least the, the fucking ending deaths. Of seven aren't fucking bastardized in this piece of shit game. Four. Oh my god. Please tell me end end a chapter. If it's end a chapter, I'm going on a BRB. I need a fucking cigarette. I am I am I am fucking enraged right now. Holy fucking shit. Shut up. You almost had it. <laughs> no. There's 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 the fucking head in the fucking box. From fucking seven. That has a, it, there's no fucking point to this, but sure, let's let's just fucking rip off a goddamn classic psychological horror thriller wholesale. Can't you hear it? Yeah, I I, I want this game to be done, Saru, especially because. Silent. I wanted to beat it before Silent Hill 2 Remake comes out. Uh... And, uh, 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 I, I, I'm getting increasingly angry at this game. And I, I've stopped caring about the narrative hours ago. Was that a game over, or, or what? I don't see a pretentious quote about death yet. Just get me to the next chapter. I need a cigarette. Chapter forever, yes. Next chapter. Okay, I'm gonna go with BRB. Jesus Christ. Here, have a good night. I think I got so enraged. I forgot to throw up my BRB screen. <laughs> I just stormed out of the fucking room. <laughs> That's fucking ah. ah. Oh, Jer. After this, uh, I'm gonna start until dawn PS5, but that's gonna be later tonight. Also, I haven't even started until Dawn PS5, right? I, I literally just got my code from from Kat, who who uh, sent it to me, uh, since she works at Naughty Dog still, so she can get me Sony games and shit. And already, already un the Until Dawn remake is inferior to the original. Because the remake runs at 30 frames a second. Meanwhile, the PS4 version runs at 60 on a PS5. Fuck off, Sony. Fuck off, remake dev. Now they knew why they feared freedom. 
why they hid, flow with the tide, and pretended to be one with the void inside them. Now in place of the void, there was a sea. Restless, roaring, terrifying. Once they saw it, once they lit a flame in their soul, there was Actually, the, the current theory is that they intentionally did not release it in 60 because they're saving it for PS4 5 Pro. They were here before. They faced that choice in the past. They felt the stare. Now, for the first time, they stared back. Probably. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoy it, Gino. You lose a lot of rage if you just got here, uh, Gino. Yeah, no, the PS5 Pro can fucking suck a fart out of my ass. I ain't buying that shit. Not unless it goes on a fucking stupid ass discount. Fuck that. I am not spending fucking eight hundred dollars on a fucking console like if the PS6 launched at eight hundred bucks I still probably I despite the fact that I like getting consoles on day one I probably would not get a PS6 at launch fuck that Oh, cool. Can we just fucking get on with it? God damn it, this is so fucking dumb. Yeah, Gino, if you just got here... This guy- this game just arbitrarily decided to recreate almost every single fucking death from the movie 7. Out of- just for no fucking reason. And I got so enraged that I went on a BRB and forgot to turn on my BRB screen. <laughs> this place, it sickens me. With all of its yeah. and Basically, yeah. It is a monument to your weakness. There is even a fucking head in a box, Gino. A head in a cardboard box. Cause, cause, cause fuck you. That's why. What was the context for it in this game? Nothing other than its creepy imagery. And again, I'm sure somebody out there will just be like, Well, it's an homage. Fuck off with that shit. Homages tend to be at least somewhat fucking original. And don't come out of fucking nowhere. Especially when the game itself is already fucking goddamn unoriginal. And fucking shamelessly has fucking copy-pasted art. Stolen fucking art. Everywhere. There is no rhyme or reason for any of the shit that's happening in this fucking game. Sorry, I'm just seeing if there's a guide for the fucking upcoming writer section. 
is 100% joining the illustrious club of I'm uninstalling this piece of shit the minute I'm done with it. The broken body can be rebuilt. Shut up! But some wounds go deeper. Yeah, deeper. So much deeper. Tony Todd, you deserve so much better, my guy. I don't know how the fuck they conned you into doing this. Okay, yeah, it's good. Oh, fuck off. God damn, this game just does not want to fucking end. Can we fucking get on with it? Shut the fuck up. There's no place for me here. Only you. Oh, shut up. Just let me fucking progress. I don't think I can. I don't care. I cannot. Get on with it. You cannot help me. I don't want to help you. I don't care. To reclaim what was lost. To let go of the stolen fire. To reignite the true flame. But now the spark. It is almost gone. I don't care. It is lost. Hopeless. <laughs> Oh, cool. Does this game have any fucking original goddamn ideas? The answer is no. No, it doesn't. Shut up. <laughs> Riveting gameplay, pulling arms. I'm so immersed. 
So riveting, much wow, so scary. For fuck's sake, what do you want me to do? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Oh my god, this game controls like shit! My guy! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god, this game controls like absolute fucking dog shit. Just fucking die. You just okay, yeah, that was that was so important for me to open those fucking chests. You know, normally I would I would uh, relentlessly mock games for having dialogue that can be so easily cut off, but I'm really glad that that those these bugs are here because all the dialogue is insufferable and fucking pretentious up the ass. Tony Todd's magnificent voice Sometimes. cannot fucking save it. Well, we can't go forward anymore, so let me guess. We got to go back. Yep, oh my god, oh my god, it's so fucking compelling, this loop of going into a room and then turning around and then the fucking room is different. I'm so fucking impressed, I'm so fucking scared and on the edge of my fucking seat. When you do it this fucking often it becomes the fucking norm and it becomes fucking boring. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Fucking mannequins everywhere. Oh my god, I'm so, so I'm so fucking scared. Gino, are you scared? Oh good, it's the fucking chase monster again. What is the chase monster? Why is the chase monster chasing me? I don't fucking know. At least in, in the Layers of Fear 1 content, my hypothesis is it's like, oh, it's the spooky ghost of our dead wife. And it's trying to be PT. But this game just feels like, oh, well, we had a spooky chase monster in the previous game. Did I just get got or did I make it to the end? 
We had a spooky chase monster in the previous game. Let's fucking have a spooky chase monster in this game. No, I just got God. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because, again, there's no rhyme or reason or context for any of the bullshit that's fucking happening in this stupid fucking game. How many times have I tried to put the pieces back together? I don't know, and I don't fucking care. Just to watch them fall apart. Can you move? Can you move? Can you move? Humping the bed is so scary. Like, am I supposed am I supposed to be doing this? There we go. I am done. All of us. And me. Let it fucking end. Jesus Christ. Shut up. How could you know? Of all the wasted years. Oh my god. To bring you here. You don't even know who you are. Is the story fucking vague and fucking stupid and fucking pretentious? How many times must a man die before he can truly live? This is what happens when you fail to take control. Oh my god, I'm so fucking scared. Broken masks in a shitty fucking room. Oh my god, it's the spooky chase monster. Get on with it. I hope so. I hope this character crumbles and the game fucking just stops. The boy that never speaks. This is worse than Unfriended because this is like a 10 hour fucking game. A 10 hour fucking story. Unfriended at least is like 90 minutes. It's insufferable. And it's painful, and I hate it, but this is just, it, it's at least 90 minutes. Unlike this shit, which is just fucking will not fucking end. Oh, but it's a remake of two separate games. I don't fucking care. It shouldn't do that. They can't even be fucking bothered to make a third fucking Layers of Fear game, so they fucking come up with, like, an hour to two hours of fucking shitty new content wraparound footage, and then remake their previous two games and try to tie it all together. You follow reason, you see through it, you cut away the strings. You hesitate, you look for a better way. Nothing is ever easy. You struggle against the current, you fight against all odds. In the end, there is no right or wrong. There is only... James! Lily! Ah! James! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving! I'll, I'll find a way to reach you! I know you will! You're strong! Stronger than you know! We'll be together again! No matter how long it takes, I will find you. I will.
Oh my god, just. Duh. Video. I don't care. I'll be waiting. Until then. Hold on. I'm 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 shit posting and venting. Oh my god. He, fuck off. I hold this fucking hand. Oh my god, the door is locked. Does that mean we can go out this way now? Is the game gonna fucking finally end? Fucking finally! What a fucking hell of an ending! No, I, I'm, I'm done. I don't care who made it. I don't give a shit. It's done. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Jesus fucking Christ! What a fucking piece of fucking shit. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just see you guys later. Goodbye. Yeah.